Hey, what's up guys? Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to watermark your images using Luminar from Skylum Software. Now the logo that I'm going to use to watermark my images was created by the Photo Logo service. If you're not familiar with that service, head to the description below this video. You're going to find a link to the review that I wrote detailing my experience of getting this logo created by Photo Logo. Uh, they do really great hand-drawn logos for photographers, and I think it adds an extra level of professionalism to your branding. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, check out the link for the full review. But now let's move on to show you how to do this. Now, in this case, with uh, Luminar here, I'm going to break this tutorial into two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you how to add a black logo. And the second part, I'm going to show you how to add a white logo. And it'll become evident when you watch this tutorial as to why we have to kind of break this up into two parts. So to start with, with this first mountain image here, we're going to be working with a black logo. All right, let's get started. Now Luminar doesn't have a built-in watermarking function, but it does have the ability to stack layers on top of each other, just like you can in Photoshop. So that's how we're going to apply our watermark. So the first step is to add a new layer. So in the layers panel over here, we'll click the plus button and the second option down, add new image layer. So now we can choose the file that we want. And I've got two logos here, a white one and a black one that were created by Photo Logo for my business. Now it's important to understand that these logos have a transparent background. And whilst Luminar does a lot of things right, it does not handle transparency layers very well at all. It actually renders the transparent layer as white. This is what's gonna cause us a little bit of problem and why we had to split this tutorial into two parts, one for a black logo and one for a white logo. What you'll see is it's much easier to apply a black watermark to your image than a white one, but I will show you how to do both. So for now, I'm gonna select this black logo and what you'll see is the default behavior is to add this image and actually stretch it to fill the whole of the previous layer. So to get rid of that problem, we right click on the image layer in the layer panel over here. And at image mapping, we change it from fill to fit. Okay, so if we change it back to fit, you'll see that it goes back to the original proportions. Now we're going to come up to the tools section here and choose transform. Once that's open, we'll just hit the padlock icon on the top left hand side and that locks the aspect ratio of our logo so we can move this around. Now it's important to understand that we are going to make this white background go away so you have to kind of try and ignore that for the moment. I'm going to position the logo down the bottom here something like that and hit the done button. Now once that has done we're going to come over to the layers panel again and making sure that we have our logo layer selected I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to darken. And when I do that, what happens is it only shows the stuff from that layer that is darker than the layer beneath it. So of course, if you have a black logo, that's going to show up and everything else is going to go away. So that's how we do that. Now, if you want to just have a look at that closely, well, let me just scroll down and you can see there's the proper Dan Carr photography logo at the bottom of the image. All right, so let's just get back here again. And now I'm going to bring up a different image and we'll talk about how to do this with a white logo. So here we have an image that would definitely benefit from having a white watermark compared to the black one of the previous photo. Things do get a little bit more complicated here. and We actually need to download a preset, which I'm making available on the Shutter Muse website. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the website, go to the article about adding a watermark using Luminar. And this is linked in the description below this video. So follow the link to the website you'll find a download button there to get a preset called invert. And we're going to need this to make sure that we can use a white watermark. Okay, so let's just say you've downloaded that zip file already. So here I have it in Finder here. It's called invert.lmp.zip. So I'm going to double click that on the Mac here to unpack it. Now we've got the invert.lmp file. Now we need to put this in the custom preset folder in Luminar. And I'll show you how to find that folder. So I'm just going to switch back to Luminar for a second. Now, if we've got our preset panel open, so this button up the top here is what pulls up the preset panel. You can choose any of your preset categories and just right click on any of these presets and show in Finder. So I'm in the user presets section. That's going to be the best place for you. So user presets show in Finder. Now, this brings up the folder where you can store your user presets. And all we need to do is drag that invert.lmp file into the custom preset folder. Okay, so let's do that right now. Now we can see invert.lmp is in there. And if I switch back 
to Luminar, we'll see it jump up here. So now we have this invert preset. Now I'll show you how to use that and why we need that in a second, but that's the first thing to understand is to make this happen, we need to put that invert preset in there, okay? So now we're gonna add our new image layer, just like we did in the previous section of the video. So we'll hit the plus button and add new image layer. And here we have our two options, a white logo and a black logo. Now, whilst we are creating a white logo this time, we're actually still gonna select the black logo. And the reason for this is, like I said, Luminar renders transparency layers as white. So if you have a white logo with a transparent background layer, it renders that background white as well, and the logo will just get lost in the background. So you'll just get a big square of white. So what we need to do is actually, again, select the black logo. Okay, so we'll click Open, and that's gonna do the same thing as it did before. Uh, in this case, it'll probably fill it to the same aspect ratio, but just to make sure, right-click on this, Image Mapping, go to Fit, just to make sure that that isn't being stretched. And now what we need to do is come down to our layers panel and hit the invert preset. Okay, so that has flipped everything. So white is black and black is now white. So now we have a white logo on a black background. And then we come up to the layers panel again and we change the blend mode this time to screen. And that leaves us with a white logo and gets rid of all of the black stuff. So we we'll come up to tools now, hit transform, as we remember from the previous time, we also need to then click the little padlock button up here to lock the aspect ratio of that logo. Let's drag this in. Let's put that somewhere, maybe make this a little bit bigger. Put it down like that and hit done. And there we have a white logo over our image now. Uh, something I didn't mention in the previous section was, of course, we can change the opacity as well. So once we have the image layer selected here, we've got the slider, we can make that logo uh, a little bit more subtle if we want to. So you, normally I would drag this down a little bit, something around 80%, just like that. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is how to add a white logo as a watermark onto an image in Luminar. Hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.